There's just 21 hours before the new set for Dragon Ball Fusion World drops, resetting the ranked ladder. Problem is, my free-to-play account is still stuck in silver. Thankfully for us, Bandai has enabled a system that allows us to gamble our rank points away, putting hundreds of points on the line per match. For context, it takes 2200 points to get into the top rank of God. So theoretically, God rank is just a couple of matches away. My free-to-play account is repping Starter Goku, a strategy that relies on my leader buffing up my battle cards to save on card economy. Can I utilize this deck to speedrun my account to the top rank in under 24 Four hours? Let's find out. All right, so it's been a hot minute since the last time I've actually been on this account. Turns out playing green all of set one just ended up making it a really brain rotting grind. As you can see, we are currently in silver two. We actually have gotten a ton of gems due to maintenances, which is always awesome. So just going to bulk receipt that right now. 200 gems. Thank you, Bandai. Thank you, Bandai. And just as a quick look through as to what we're dealing with on our deck, just going to take a quick peek and nothing too crazy here. The same as we left it off many moons ago. Basic red strategy that relies on just utilizing good cards such as a three drop Goku and the promo Goku to apply pressure on our opponents. It's definitely not an amazing strategy because we lack a lot of consistency pieces, but in general should be enough to at least apply enough pressure so that our opponent can feel a little bit flexed. So actually we're up to 300 points that we can bet right now, which will take us right up to the promotion match. And as we unlock ranks, we'll actually be able to bet more and more up until we're able to bet 1000, which should accelerate this huge. So we're currently at silver two. And just by going and betting this 300 off rip, we jump right to silver one and hit those promotion matches. Now, of course, I can actually just go for 200 and we're going to stay there. But I actually like the idea of betting 300 because once we're out of the promotion matches, we can actually go ahead and start at a slightly higher rank, which should make this easier for us. So without further ado, we've got no way to think about this. We don't really have any changes to make of our deck, so we might as well just lock it in. And of course, if we lose, we're going to go down ranks quite fast. We go right back down to silver five, but I am trusting my ability to be able to actually win out these games. So let's give it a go. Hopefully, fingers crossed with the fix to matchmaking that we got a few months ago, it's at least sustaining enough for us to be able to play other players of our own rank. That would be the best case scenario. And here we've got a bronze player, which, hey, we're silver ourselves. So I very much welcome that. While it may seem that the matchmaking has paired me with someone of my equivalent rank, we're about to find out real soon that is not always going to be the case. Oh, I forgot I had Tournament Power Arena. I actually do like that as an open. We don't really have Self Awakeners, but I do like the fact that we can contest his one drop and we can actually play Arena. And then Arena is like having a second version of our leader ability, allows us to apply more pressure. So usually I'll only ever really keep this if it's in our opening hand. The fact that it is here, oh, but looks like we are facing uh, use seven Goku which can apply a lot more pressure. So we do need to be a little bit careful there. But for that very reason, I'm actually really happy that we uh, find ourselves having the Fuwas here. And the, the Gohan actually can do some pretty good stuff in terms of board control as well. So we actually have a few decent cards. It's really hard for us to beat a fleshed out deck, but I think in terms of a deck that may just be starting off, looks like it charges double striker. I don't actually feel too bad. Lots of Weezes, lots of one drops. And then he's got his own one drop Roshi. If he plays another one drop here, like I feel pretty good about going into Gohan and just wiping his board. That's a lot of free value for us. So it kind of depends what he does here. Ah, oh, he plays his own arena. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> and if he plays another one drop though, nice. All right, this is going to be a ton of value for us here. So I think we can actually charge our Roshi because I do value the battle card access here. Um, and then our opponent's likely to just take this. So before he has, they have any inclination that we might be doing something funky. And then we'll go ahead and just completely board wipe him. That felt really good. That <laughs> felt really good. Yeah, we can attack here, um, especially considering we have the protection of Tournament Power Arena. And there's a world in which our opponent just has another three drop. So this is doomed to die anyways, if the opponent ends up playing that. But uh, we just got a huge amount of advantage here in terms of clearing out the combo power. So big fan on that front. Here's the Awaken. Got Gohan to be able to deal with it our own. Oh, OK, that was not. You know what? Fair. I was not expecting the UI Goku, the Altart UI Goku <laughs> for that matter. Whoa, OK, that is over combo to the max. That is fine. I'll just take that, sir. That's fine by me. Yeah, that's that that is fine. You definitely get there. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, we're gonna go with Gohan here. And then there's a world in which maybe we play the Whis to kind of finish this off or play a Mofuba or something. But first off, we're gonna do this. We're gonna neg this. Like that. And then we're gonna whoop whoop. We could use Whis, we could use Mafuba. Kind of lends itself to the same thing, but Mafuba means that we're not wasting combo power just to get there. We'll go ahead and Mafuba. Then we'll swing, and here I feel fine and found our double striker. I feel fine using Arena here. We're just so high on hand advantage, I'm not too concerned. If he wants the super combo plus card, that's fine, but. I don't know, we're in a pretty good position here. <laughs> Lots of combo in hand. Got board advantage. So, three drop Goku. Is that what we're going to have to deal with? Probably. Yep. Yep, here he is. Man, all the altars. This guy pulled all the cards. Annoying, but not something that I feel like we're going to have too much trouble dealing with. I'm not too worried about figuring out a way for our double striker to live. So I feel pretty good about just getting rid of their guy like this. And if that's enough, then great. And if it's not enough, then so be it. Um, just because we're like so high on cards, I don't feel threatened for next turn. So I'm just going to try and see if we can double strike him turn after turn. Let's figure it out. Yep. No. For whatever reason, if this guy is able to live till next turn, odds are we probably just get there. Unless he like lines up like a a Fua into three drop Goku, then that's kind of an L, but fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, so here he's obviously trying to set up for the double strike. I'm not too concerned about. There's a world in which I know I have enough combo power to out it. But might as well play it safe. You never know. I mean, he's charged the one, which means he might have Kamehameha available to a monster. So double strike plus Kamehameha. Okay. Well, if need be, we'll we'll defend we'll defend our double striker. <laughs> we'll see how hard he goes into this. Yep, there it is. There's a Kamehameha, or activate rep. Sure, rep of universe seven. Let's see, so if that if he's doing that, his other card is was a double striker, because that was the turn he was setting up for. But here I only have to dump three cards to protect it. Sure, why not? Uh there. And then we'll just go ahead and at all. One hundred K. Oh, he didn't even have the double striker. All right. All right, bet. All right, silver one promotion matches. Let's go. Dude, this is so much better. This is so much better than having to grind dozens and dozens of game with no way to be able to accelerate it. Let's go all the way to the top into our promotion matches. <laughs> okay, so another bronze player. So this fair is good for us. And uh, what is this another mirror? Oh, is this the same opponent? No, okay, this is actual, actually a mirror match. Oh! It goes without saying that at these lower ranks, we're going to be playing some players that are just learning the game. And this is where our game knowledge experience really makes up, especially given that Fusion World is a very skill intensive game where unfortunately, if you don't understand the ebbs and flow of how a real game plays out, you can put yourself in a position where you don't really have a hand. And unfortunately, you just kind of lose control from there. Uh, we'll just pass. We'll go ahead and swing a crit here. Buff up this guy. Then we'll swing there. We'll neg here, because why not? Opponent gets two cards, but they'd need like 
I mean, they, they could combo out of this, but it would cost them to do cards. It would cost them a super combo. Eh. Odds are they just take it. And then we get two swings with our board. Our opponent has like negligible cards in hand. And then we can close out the game from there with our double striker. Oh. And now we can just go all in. Forty, forty-five, uh, fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety-five, a hundred and five. My ain't no way, ain't no way he disconnected, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> well, hopefully this doesn't take too long. One eternity later. Oh. We're in gold! <laughs> well, unfortunate for our opponent that he had to face us along the way, but we have now grinded our way into gold. Next up, platinum, I believe? We still can only bet 300, so maybe the thousand points come in once you actually hit god rank, but nevertheless, with 300 points, we go from gold 4 all the way to gold 2. Now, this is the risky bit. There is a chance in which if we lose, we go all the way back to silver two. And the problem is when you rank back down to rank back up, we have to do our promotion matches all over again. Now, I don't necessarily mind the idea of doing our promotion matches, but it's just to say, if things go south, we go way back down. Thankfully, it shouldn't be too much effort to build our way back up. So with that in mind, let's see if we can get ourselves to gold two. Little did I know, I was about to face the most frustrating string of games I have ever played. All right, I feel pretty good about this. It depends, man. So maybe someone's doing the same thing as I am, and they're an experienced player just playing on a fresh account. You never know. You want to play it slow against Vegeta because, like, or at least you want to play it in a way where you have the advantage as board because once he's awakened, you're going to have to defend against 35k swings for free, which is a really tough place to be in. So there's a world in which maybe you want to defend early and maybe like we don't take one or two of his uh, hits here. So we'll kind of blade it, flesh it out. We do want four drops, to be honest, just because they're harder to remove for this deck unless they have the SRs. So we're going to have to gauge based on what our opponent is playing, um, what we can play into. Four drops feel pretty safe. Once we get to five drops at that point, it's almost impossible for this deck to get rid of them. So hey, playing against Vegeta can be super weird depending on the types of hands they have um doesn't feel great because they can just get rid of that so let's just swing here see now chaining beerses in this matchup could actually be super nasty all right got in that damage let's get in some self-awakening i'm not even sold if we should be self-awakening but we'll just go ahead and press our advantage for as long as we can well, Tomo's like cute, but because he's a two drop, he just gets hit by everything and gets bounced to the hand. So they can't KO it in battle, but they can just bounce it, which is kind of a suspect position. Oh, and he did actually have the second Vegeta. Makes me wonder if he's going to opt to play it here. Got eight cards in hand, so whatever he plays would go back down to seven as far as hand size goes. At least if he doesn't swing with his leader first, anyhow. <laughs> Because our opponent hasn't turbo awakened, I know that the additional turns we have awakened won't be too terrible in terms of feeling like we're in danger because our opponent hasn't sped up to a point where he can just bash us with 35k's nonstop. And if he swings with us here, all right, he's not going to swing. So at least there's that. Um, we'll get rid of the 5k combo where we can. Bring our opponent here. He's likely to just take. And then I want to play Beerus, but I also don't. I will play the Beerus, but we'll opt out of a swing just because I don't want to have him threatened by this before we're able to use things like our leader ability to protect it. So we'll take our time here. Play it a little bit slow, and plus it gives us the opportunity to be able to double Beerus next turn. So. Alright, that's fine. Oh, I didn't even realize our opponent used the energy marker to play this out. That's great. Oh, and now we have this. Ooh, much better. 
Um, I didn't even, yeah, the playing a four drop will make it much harder. I mean, the opponent can still bottom deck it with their five drop, but the fact that they use the energy marker means that we have a full turn of that not happening. Plus, it'll make it easier for us to actually be able to deal with this thing if he decides to attack with it. Okay, so it plays the go 10, but has too many cards in hand. So it won't be able to bounce it if that's ever the goal. Maybe he's just setting a board. We'll see. We are definitely at a point we'll, where we'll be awakening our opponent. Potentially. I mean, yeah. Okay, well, that kind of just answers a lot of our questions here. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. I, the, the goal here is to combo down to seven. Okay. Well, hopefully he realizes that if he takes a life with this, he goes back up to seven, so. I mean, yeah, 45 is pretty big. <laughs> I'm going to be forced to take this, probably. Because I ain't dumping three cards. Yeah, okay. All right, you know what? Sure. <laughs> you have it. You have dealt a damage. To be able to bounce my Krillin back to my hand. <laughs> Galagun? Oh my god. Alright. The 30. Thankfully, I've got Roshi here, and then we can just use our handy coat here to be able to get the rest of the way there. All right, this is definitely one of those spots where we're just going to have to flex our advantage. Yeah, let's try to get this here. See what happens, I guess. At least next turn, we'll be able to go into, you know, uncontested five drop and then do the five drop again, which is really nice. Yeah, that's fine. Just make sure to order that properly, and then we'll make this 10 above so that the opponent has to dump an additional 10k plus a card if he wants to keep that around. Wow, okay. Um, we could go for go tanks, but that's just a beat stick. This threatens awakening, so we'll just go ahead and do this. And then if our opponent wants to protect against that, then like, I mean, by all means, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So now we're, you know, we have to be wary of the leader ability, but not, to, you know, our combo isn't super powerful, though. I mean, we've got 5Ks in hand and then we got 10Ks, but a lot of 5Ks. <laughs> 5K, 5K, 5Ks here. So just got to be a little bit careful on that front. Piccolo gets back Gala Gun. That's fine. I guess the question here is, will he go for the board? Will he go for us? If he goes for the board, I don't necessarily mind too much, I guess. We're, odds are one of our crit bodies is going to live. And obviously, I prefer the Gohan to live. But if it's the Beerus that lives, then so be it also. Yep, that's fine. We can use our later ability here. And then here, he probably uses Galagun. That is fine. Uh, if I had a super combo, I would. Not having a super combo, we'll just let that go. I wonder if he combos here. Nope. All right, sounds good. Bet, 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 bet. Um, do this. There's no point in really keeping Beerus in like a active state because if our opponent just plays their own double striker here, we're gonna have to bottom deck it anyways. And what I'm not thrilled about that is we don't have a ton of combo power, but that's fine. We can just play our next one, attack into that. And maybe kind of control our way out of that matchup if that's something that happens. Opponent's also running out of time a bit, so I mean, okay. Well, yep, yeah, that's. He wants to dump cards to protect it. That is fine by me. I guess we'll just go ahead and do this and force the super combo plus. Yep, that's fine.
Come on, I know you've been playing for the double strike the entire time. Yes, he has it. <laughs> yep. I wonder if he attacks into our double strike. Or if he just goes for me. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so he knows better than to do that. Well, I'm always swinging no matter what, but I guess the question is like, do I want to give him the extra card? Sure. He's going to take this for sure. Now, what I wanted to see here was if I could hit a Fuwa, because if I could hit a Fuwa, I think there's a way I could sequence this to get rid of this. But since that's not the case, yeah, I don't have a strong combo hand. I have a lot of 5Ks. But if that wasn't the case, I'd super consider it. Well, it probably has another super combo in hand, though. Yeah, okay. We'll just play it safe, try to force a super combo out of hand or something. And we'll see where we can go from there. And then if, for whatever reason, Gohan lives, then we can apply additional pressure next turn. But yeah, here I'm just trying to force cards out of hand, because... The less our opponent has, the better for us to survive next turn. And then the less our opponent has, the better chance we have of just closing the game going into the next turn. So, Yep, there's a super combo. Figured he had it. Don't want to risk anything there. And we're not going to give him additional cards here. We'll just pass. Because there's a good chance our opponent might just go swing to our face with a 35k, then go all in on the double striker. And if they have Gallic Guns, which it seems like they're pushing, we'll see. If he goes for Gohan, then that's fine. I'll probably just let that pass, but yeah, that's okay then. I don't, I don't mind this. My opponent has eight cards in hand, so we're going to have to chip away at that to the best of our abilities. That's pretty good. we have got an additional 20k combo here. I'll probably swing with the go tanks and then pass. Yeah. A lot of combo power. Won't lie. See how much it can force cards out of his hand, I guess. That's the big thing. Okay, it's three super combos. <laughs> um, it's fine. And then we'll just do this. And then do a quick one of these. Get rid of this. Um, and we're not going to swing just to give him free cards. We'll just see if we can go double strike, double strike next turn. That's... See if we can do that. If he plays another Go Tanks, I'll be kind of annoyed, but I think we're kind of like controlling the board okay here. I mean, seeing Fuwas would be really cool because then we could actually combo into some removal plays, but without super combos, we can start counting 10Ks, but our opponent's always holding up one, which means I think they're always representing Gala Gun. So you need to be aware of that. Interesting. Well, it would be cool to see my super combos to actually be able to get out of this thing. But yeah, we're going to have to defend this no matter what, because we're never going to be able to defend ourselves from a leader swing after if we end up taking this. So. Let's do what we got to do. I feel like the intent was that he was meant to combo something out here. <laughs> I think, think you might have forgotten that part because I think the, the idea was to be able to activate his leader ability right here. So now, unfortunately, he's going to have to commit to playing something before he uses his leader ability, which obviously takes away the, the information that he might have been trying to hide from me on whether he was trying to play another double striker or something like that. Best case scenario, he plays Vegeta, though, because that means he won't have the energy open for Galagon. Yeah, okay. That's what I figured. All right. So it sucks that we lose our Whis here, but we'll make do. It kind of depends on what he's going for. See, so we cannot out combo. We, this is just not not a very friendly spot for us to be able to. We'll just go to forty. 
These swings of the double striker will take just because it gives us more combo power to be able to close, but like we we wouldn't be able to out this. I don't think so. Then we'll see how much gets stumped here. We still have our leader ability. And then every card that our opponent uses here is one that they can't use to defend. And we don't we know they don't have super combos. They might have a bunch of 10ks though, so we need to do that kind of math. 45. Yeah, 45 is too big for us, unfortunately. Yeah, that's too big. Sucks, but that's just the reality of it. End phase. See if we can get ourselves a crit hit through. Nope, it's fine though, we're just spending cards. Trying to spin some wheels a little bit. Sure. I think he defends this every time, but again, as long as we kill one of them, we feel like we're in a pretty good spot. It's a bit of a gamble, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so our opponent, so we need to out combo two of our opponent's attacks if he goes up going for us. The first one we always protect because it's the single strike and then we take the double strike and then hope we can combo out from there. Maybe it's not, you know, certain, and, but man, we haven't seen any super combos. We've seen none super combo so odds are if we take a double strike life one of them is gonna have a super combo right <laughs> that's so annoying <laughs> but either way we're just gonna try to not take this and then we'll see where we go from there if our opponent doesn't combo on that switch oh my god okay well <sighs> unfortunate for us our opponent saw everything <laughs> um okay it's like we really need to see a double striker um here okay our opponent did combo so i think we actually take this because currently with what's in our hand we can def another 5k are you serious whatever with what's in our hand right now we can actually defend both double strikers if our opponent doesn't go into us we can actually defend the double strikers okay this is fine we don't i mean this is not fine but we'll see with what's in our hand right now we can defend double strike hits Potentially if our opponent drew dead, but they probably have Gallic Gun in their hand based on the one that they have. I swear to God, if they have Gallic Gun. Just five. All right. So 40. Ugh, that sucks. And we have just enough. <laughs> uh, dude, we really couldn't see one super combo the entire damn game. Oh my God. Dog. That feels so terrible. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. Oh, hey, so, so glad you could join. So glad you could join. Miserable. M absolutely miserable. Uh, literally just need to see one super combo. <laughs> uh, all right, let's try running it again. Okay, Broly. And then I don't know that there's a punish in doing this, so we're just going to do it. <laughs> I don't know. Even if he Broly's us, we should be able to amass two attacks with him having like no cards in hand. He can't Gigantic Meteor even though he hasn't seen any of them. He hasn't super comboed, but I mean, that's... We'll see. I think, I think we're pretty safe to go in for this. So 100 for us. 35, 40. Got 50 on board. 55. Yeah, okay, we should be good. All right, back to the promotion match. <laughs> uh, hopefully we won't be doing this song and dance too often. All right. All right. What are we up against? That was a long wait. We might be up against a god player or something. Ugh. All right, up against a diamond player. Let's do it. Where's that plat? I don't know. Plat, diamond? Same difference? That's against a Gohan, though. We actually have a chance here. And we have our early self awaken. We've got arena, which could be cute. Not great, but cute. Okay, we've got lines. Not phenomenal lines, but we have lines. I only charges a Broly, so presumably I'm gonna play a Broly. I 
I don't even know if this is the right play, but I mean, I just have to hope that he charged his only other Broly. Like, he's seen so many cards in this deck, man. He definitely just has super combo plus card. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't out this board. <sighs> Playing this game free to play fucking sucks, dude. <sighs> All right, I think we're just jumping right into another promotion match, though. And it didn't take us half a day, so we're playing against a gold player. That's fine. It's not as bad as a platinum player. Another Broly, though. No shocker there. Well, I know I lose here, but... Because this is definitely Gigantic Meteor as well. But there's honestly nothing else I can do. I, I was really hoping to find a Roshi that could self-awaken us so that we could draw into another 10k. Or I was hoping we would draw into another 10k. Unfortunately, we drew into zero. Um, but there's still a decent amount of combo power, so let's see if we get there, I guess. I don't feel good about it, but especially since our opponent is contesting us with a hand. Yeah, I don't. We don't get there, but we weren't getting there anyways otherwise. One super combo, two super combo. Gigantic Meteor. <laughs> Format's fucking dog ass, dude. All right, well, thankfully, I think we're still in promotion matches. <laughs> this is so stupid. Technically, technically, Frieza is a good matchup for us. The issue is we don't have any of the cards that make it a good matchup for us. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do. Cool. All right, promoted back to gold. That was I'm not going to lie. Gambling everything definitely makes it much more annoying when you get sent back and need to redo promotion matches. At least you can do multiple promotion matches back to back because you can't gamble at that point, but oh my god, dude. All right, we're in there. All right, this is a silver four. Beerus. Uh, ah, ha, 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 ha. Beerus isn't easy. I mean, God Kamehameha actually surprisingly helps a decent amount with this matchup. And 25Ks early on can be decent, but like we're in a position where we don't have the cards we need to really play a real strategy game against Beerus. If they've got a bunch of like the three drops, we're in a really tough spot. So hopefully they don't, but I don't feel super confident about that fact. Oh, that's a little spooky. Why would you do that? I don't know why you would do that. We'll just take it though. I presume it's because he's going to play five drop years here. Ugh. Okay. Well, not like you didn't see it coming. We don't have a super combo anymore. All right. Probably just uses Arena. It's fine. Oh, I really should have. Okay, well. And now we're just setting ourselves up for next turn, fingers crossed. I mean, may have just had to sequence this in a way to combo this better because we're probably just losing this to the Beerus ability. But we'll see. As long as we don't take a single or, or a hit from Beerus here, depending on how hard he commits into it, we should be okay going into the next turn. But always suspect at best. 
I think he knows that. We know that. Unfortunately, we only saw one super combo. Okay, well, don't have to worry about double strike no more. So that's good. Uh, let's see. Takes a super combo. A little spooky considering he hasn't played any other ones, but that is fine by me, to be honest. That is fine by me. Play Gohan here, I guess that would suck. Nope, just rush. Alright, so essentially getting ready for the turn, but that just means we have more turns to be able to draw cards ourselves. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of annoying. Not what I was expecting. Here, yeah, this is gonna force him to use everything, so I kind of- I just want him to commit to using these 5Ks off the board. And then I don't feel solid enough going doing anything past that. Unfortunately, it feels really bad, but I want to make sure that I'm actually able to combo these off out of my hand if I need to. Which really sucks. <laughs> it's a very unpleasant situation to be in. Yeah, Beerus in the mirror match, in the red mirror, is just very, very solid if you don't see your four drops, which we unfortunately didn't. And even then, in Beerus, it doesn't even matter. So... It's fine, we're just kind of forced to take him out. Um, what I really want to see here is four drop Gohan. Uh, three drop Gohan, if we have another one of him, might be good. I can't remember if we have two or one, but we found a super combo one time and he found now he has the double striker. That's something that we're gonna have to deal with next turn. And here's the 30k, and unfortunately, we're just gonna have to take the 30k. I love that. Ugh, yeah, we probably lose here. Yeah, that's fair. We went for it. So that's seventy. All right. Well, GG's. Took the bait. <laughs> Woo! All right. Still not enough for rank up matches, though. Uh, okay. 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 But the fun part, though, is that we're now, because we're in Silver One, if we rank again, we'll be at 900 points, which I think gives us a buffer where we might be able to bet 200. And if we lose, we're not like automatically kicked out of the damn rank. <laughs> Let's give it a go. At this point, I'm heavily tilted, but nothing gets me worse than this final sequence against this Frieza player. Um, there's 20. Bro, ain't no f***ing way. It's not worth it. 
And that's where season one leaves off our free to play account. I was honestly incredibly tilted going into those last remaining 17 hours. Potentially could have pushed through from there, but starting back from the very rock bottom. The format itself isn't all that interesting. And when you're competing against a lot of people who are playing against the fleshed out decks, it got to a point where the grind was no longer really enjoyable, especially when you're running up against green decks over and over and over again. So while unfortunately this is where we leave the free to play account in set one, I'm excited to see where set two goes. And of course, huge thank you to the patrons who allow me to be able to at least attempt fun challenges like this and keep the good times rolling. And if you guys want to be on screen like these fantastic supporters, then links to my Patreon with additional perks will be down below. Nevertheless, set two is on the horizon and I'll be live streaming the release throughout the rest of the entire week. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll be live on Twitch and I'll catch you guys there.